Automatic lip syncing? And smart move too? Free, 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 automatic lip syncing? Hey, what's up, Survivalists? It's Jay from Team WJ here to bring you the FMR Animate Rig. It's a free, unofficial update for the FMR 5.0 rig made by XIFrost21. So, this new rig brings 22 new features to the game for animation purposes. So, if you like posing your characters for fancy renders, then this is not the rig for you. It's strictly for animation. So, before I show you what the rig has, I make videos and tutorials to help you improve your Minecraft animations. So, if you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe and join the community. Now, let's dive right in and go down the list of the 22 upgrades. Let's first start with the face. First of all, the eyes have had two changes. First, we have a major aesthetic overhaul, and this little sparkle has a user data to be toggled on and off. Speaking of user data, eyebrow thickness can also be adjusted here. Moving to the right a little bit, we have the new controls. We have the eye controller, which controls where both pupils look, and fifth, eye dilation simply by rotating this controller. Up here, we have the expression control, which changes how angry or sad he looks. And seventh, if you rotate this, you can get the eyebrow distance control. Staying with expressions and eyebrows, move up one layer and we have eight eyebrow bends control by rotating this top controller. And eyebrow expression control, which can be adjusted by pulling the slider. Over here to the right, we have 10 and 11, which are simply the top and bottom eyelid controls. Now we get to the big controller up here, the most exciting of all, head tracking. The head automatically follows where your eyes look, very useful stuff. Moving away from the face, aesthetics for the leg poles have been improved. You can now tell which is the front and which is the back. Staying along with the legs, improvements have been made to the fancy feet, and they bug out significantly less. Along with that comes a larger range of mobility for the legs, still with sharp bends. Previously, the maximum angle of the bend was 9 degrees. Now it's been increased to 130 degrees. Let's move up a little to the arms and note a major change. One that saves everybody hours of work. The hand stretch bug has been fixed. No more huge poles or deformed items, it's gone forever. No need to worry about it anymore. Gone. Same with the hands, we have 17 wrist parenting. Is your character holding a sword but can't get the right angle? Rotating the wrist doesn't let the item follow? Well, it does now. Now let's jump into the user data here. Moving down the list, we first have Subsurface Scattering Option, or SSS. Now this is really exciting, but it'll be an entire new video by itself. Essentially what you have are three options. You have one, the skin color, because you can't be racist. Two, you have a texture map with a free template provided. And third, you have the on-off switch. Move down a little and we can find the Smart Move Toggle. It's off by default so you can extrude without everything moving around, but turn it on again and the body will move according to where the legs are. Immediately underneath that, we have automatic breathing with a slider to control how fast he breathes. And underneath that, we have the idle animation, again with a slider to control speed. Now we get to the face options and you know what that means. Automatic lip syncing. You'll find five options underneath the lip syncing box. First is the toggle, and that's just the on-off switch. Then you have the file, so by default you have one of my files in there. Strength controls how strong the effect is, so if you want to open and close the mouth, you can use this as well. Then you have the audio on off, which simply toggles whether you hear the audio or not. And then finally you have the lower teeth slider. Now this last slider is really important because depending on whether you have lip syncing on or off, you might find some weird stuff going on with the lower teeth. What you want to do is play with the slider a little bit and set its default position, and from then on it'll just do everything automatically. Now onto the lip syncing itself. Don't rely solely on it. It automatically detects sounds and opens the mouth. You can't do the M sound without closing your mouth, so you're gonna have to do mouth shapes manually. Fortunately, you can do that just by playing around with the slider here, and if you want to close the mouth, simply just drag the strength down. Now, I do want to get into more detail about this rig, but it's gonna have to be in a separate video, so make sure you subscribe as to not miss out when I put out the new videos detailing all the secret stuff behind this rig. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget that my channel serves as a community for other animators to get together. We're all humans, and humans are pack animals. We work better together. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss anything in the future. Enjoy the rig! Cheers!